Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Wilting or Pokemon Wilting Y Part 25? I think it's 25, man. We've made a lot of progress in 25 videos, way more than I really thought we would. In the last video, we uh, infiltrated Lysander Labs and now we're fighting uh, Green Hair with a uh, less... I mean, our team's fairly good. Our best Pokemon is about to die, which is less than ideal. You don't have uh, an air balloon, right? Did, did you? I don't remember. If you do, then my bad. And don't kill me. Ah, we're dead. Well... We tried to get some some poison poison heal shenanigans out there. So you know Aqua Tail, probably like Night Slash, maybe an earthquake -ish, earthquake move of your own. Your Dark Poison, Poison Dark. What are you weak to? You're weak to Mayor. Everyone's weak to Mayor. No one can resist his seductive flapping. Did she just boom me? She just... She just fucking boomed me. That's a level of boomage. That... That's the best play ever made by Pokemon AI. Holy shit, that was incredible. I'm like... I'm like in awe of how smart that was. What do we do? <laughs> how do we beat this stupid dragon? My strat was gonna be to use Mayor. Our dragon definitely loses. Oh, Chloe, yeah, duh. Are you faster? You might be faster. You might also not be. You you can you can live. Hi, Georgian. He's not like a, he doesn't have like a high. Oh, let's go. Dude, Clo is the lord of living with one HP. She's always doing it. She you know she had to do it to him. Honestly, we should have like switched out probably. I don't know what we do now. What do you know again? Fly, Thunder Punch, Dragon Tail, Surf. I mean, you can't really hurt us. I mean, you can hurt us, but multi-scale, it essentially means Ryujin can never be one-shot. But I think we'll just play it safe and go for the acrobatics. That should kill. Dude, Hadrigion. I mean, I'm still in awe of that play right there. That was so smart. On, like, so, so many different levels. Like, A, withdrawing the Pokemon when I was going to dig on them, which then locks us in to using Dig against a Pokemon that knows Levitate, and then it also has a move that is super effective. Um... What did you say you were sending in? Oh god, I was so in awe, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, Jamu is our our standard, like, you're okay against everything in the sense that you can protect and do some damage. Alright. Maybe not maybe not really who you who you wanna wanna have out in hindsight. Um I kind of hate to lose our multi-scale for this, but I think we have to. As long as the thing doesn't happen. Okay, we're good. Maybe if I just don't ever refer to the bad things by name, they'll never actually happen. That's, that's my strat for the future. It's just like, kind of vaguely allude to things that are bad instead of directly naming them and hoping that...
I didn't even know Dark Pulse could flinch you. I thought it like lowered your defense or something. As a. Why, why are you doing this to me? What did I do to deserve this? I'm just, I feel like this is, I'm being singled out and made an example of. Toxic croak. Acrobatics will destroy you and everything you hold dear. Right? Yes. Hey, man, I've used a Toxicroak. I'm well aware of how fragile he is. What was the playthrough that we used a Toxicroak? It was one of the Blaze Black playthroughs. I can't remember which one. Um, do I trust Quetzal to land a high jump kick? No, I don't. But I will. I believe in you and your ability to jump high into the air and land the kick of destiny, which might actually not kill. I kind of like just thought the raw attack power would be enough. Jammu versus the world. Everyone knew it would come down to this. Our most powerful Pokemon finally stands alone against the tide of oncoming monsters, beasties. Mazes and monsters is a far out game. Aegislash. Why, 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 why do you, why do you have that Pokemon? Do you hate me? Like you're just, you're just, you're just here to cause, cause me harm. I mean, maybe we can just like flinch him to death. Like it's like, we need you to like attack, not kill us. And then we can flinch you. Oh, I did not know that's how that worked. Cause I assumed the flinch would come in before you would have switched. That shouldn't kill us. We just need one flinch. Wait, what? Ah, oh, no! We lost. In case you couldn't tell. It basically just all came down to Carmilla not being able to do her thing. What do I... Oh, okay. You, we just spawned, like, right outside. That's good. Um, I wish I had known that Team Flare was just right next to the Pokemon Center. I guess we could pause. Honestly, I really shouldn't have recorded another video. Um, I can already feel, like, the brain fatigue. Coming in, this is like probably the last video of the day. And like, really, I wanted the last video to be the last one, but then I went ahead and started fighting what's her name? The lady that just kicked our ass, and don't really want to stop now. We battle you? I guess we've we battled all the people that we have to battle, right? Like, anyone that we could skip, we have skipped. So, unless they're standing directly in our way. There's no need to engage them. Like you, I don't know if we've battled you. So like, where's our rival? Shouldn't they be helping us in this? This is like supposed to be, this is like double battle city. Or double battle city. Um. Drapion. If I was a Drapion, like what, what would I be scared of in life? Probably just Carmilla. I can't believe they don't even remember us. That's so rude. I mean, granted, 
I didn't really remember who they were. I guess I can't be too mad about it, but... I mean, I remember who they were. I couldn't tell you their names for the life of me. We have been poisoned. You have fallen into our trap. Joke's on you. I'll just poison myself. I mean, you know, it was cute the first time, but now you're just flexing. I don't know. I mean, X scissor should do okay. Oh, yeah, you have Surf. Why do you even know that? And the stupid life orb is... Stupid. I completely forgot about the their ability to do that. Uh. I think we're still okay. I mean, really, we're kind of in the same position. We just got to do more damage to Drapion first. I think, did we? I don't know. Ah, there's no flying gym. I think it's fine, though. We didn't really utilize the Unburden last time. Mag Mortar. Oh yeah, Mayor, weren't you like injured last time? That that's gonna be a game changer. As long assuming you, you know, don't just miss your rock slide and die to a thunderbolt. Oh, his air balloon popped all right, along with all his other internal organs. The drapester? You cannot handle this. Swords dance? That'd be pretty scary if you weren't already dead. The, the meme line, the Ome Wai Shindairu. It's like the saying that as southern as possible. Um What um what do we what is what beats Aegis last? Nothing. <laughs> Correct answer. I mean you got Ryujin. You uh you pop him with dragon tail and tell him to get out of here. Go on, get. I don't think that's the correct answer, though. I think you fly. Because you're going to do that. Obviously, you're going to king shield first turn. And then you're like, haha, I'll hit you with iron head. Oh, wait, we're faster? What? I kind of assumed he'd be faster. I'm so used to Ryujin being literally the slowest Pokemon known to man. Don't do it. You want to attack us. Yes. I mean, it's not going to do a ton of damage, but it should do decent. Automatize? I don't know what that does. Like, raises your attack. Speed rose sharply. I don't care. Did my man really just raise his speed so that he could King Shield? Actually, that like works out well for us. Because now you're faster and you're gonna... And then even when next time you hit us, we're gonna have multi-scale again. At least this will be a good way to learn if multi-scale... Uh... Well, no. Because we crit. This, this is a good opportunity to learn if multi-scale procs multiple times. I think it does. I'm pretty sure it does. Or not. Or we could send in Quetzal. And invoke the power of the sun god. The god of the wind. And some other stuff. Can't, can't remember all the different aspects of Quetzalcoatl. I know it's like, it's like, you know, the sun, I think. I know wind is in there. Something else. It's like a few different things. You said you're sending out Mainectric? 
I'm not afraid. Are you in this Mega Man neck trick? And aren't you gonna, like, intimidate us? Don't do it. You know he had to do it to us. I can't even be mad about it. Um, you can't kill me. Okay, yes you can. That answers that question. Ryujin, one of these days you're going to learn a, a real move of the dragon variety, and it's going to be great. Now, unfortunately, Ryujin cannot, oh my god, cannot learn a good, a good dragon move until the victory road when we can get the dragon claw TM. Well, we could maybe learn Outrage in a few levels, but I mean, we could also maybe just like close our eyes during battles. That would be smart, right? I mean, Outrage isn't garbage. It's just not any good. Am I gonna lose? You're not, you're not gonna beat me. I refuse. Oh no. Oh no. I really thought Quetzal was faster. If you're faster than Quetzal, you're probably faster than Jammu with speed boost. Um, I mean, you are like a mega Pokemon. You're 187. You're 129. With one speed boost, that's like... 50% higher. So you're like one, like just at under 200. Right? 30, 65. Uh, you're like 194, I think. Uh, I don't know. Blast him. I really thought you would just barely outspeed. Ah! Found myself sque screaming in a Pokemon Labyrinth. Dude, part of me is just like fucking yeet this video. I'm debating it. I'm, I'm seriously considering just like ending the recording and deleting this. And then just starting the next video with being like, ah, I don't know, I tried to fight her and totally didn't lose twice you know what i think we're gonna we're gonna stop here uh we're not gonna end the video but i'm going to stop recording for the day because my brain is just it's i don't know it's a, it's a little it's running on fumes i'll be back all right we are back uh it's been a full day well not really a full day it's been like you know 12 hours but we're back we're here to fight what's her name again I'm uh, less deprived of brain juices and more able to think clearly now because the brain fog is gone. Uh, how are we? What was what was happening in this fight? All I remember is that we were getting destroyed. Oh yeah, yeah, because you kept they kept doing that levitate shit with the AI's like being smart. Which is, it's kind of interesting that, like, the AI is actually capable of being smart. Because, like, from what I remember, the AI has not changed at all in this ROM hack. It's just, it uses the default AI for, like, the champion and applies it to way more trainers. So, like, Pokemon AIs actually can be good. It's just kind of bad a lot of times. Like, they purposely make the AI not that great. Also, you didn't switch out like you were supposed to. Like you were, you're supposed to switch out for into into Hydrogeon, but you know whatever you do, you. I guess they won't do that, and if we're not actually using a ground move because the AI knows, they know. 
Don't send in Hydrigion. Don't do it. Do I think we're faster? Um, I forgot to give you a flying jump. I don't think it really matters, but... Let's just go for the, the pretty much guaranteed kill with Quetzal. Considering we've lost to her like two, maybe even three times. Well, I think it was like the first time we fought her, we didn't have any HP. And the second time we just got swept by Magnetric. That was fun. Um, so you gotta remember, keep Gliscor alive. So that we can Earthquake on the haters. Mag Mortar. Mag Mortar. Mag Mortar. I mean, my heart says Ryujin. My brain says Ryujin. My heart says Cam Camilla. I think... I don't know. Like, there's a good argument to be made for uh, trying to get Carmilla to heal via poison heal, but I'm a little worried like how much damage fire... Oh, you have an air balloon, so this was a good, good decision in hindsight. Yeah, I keep forgetting. Everyone has air balloons on our team. Which is like, that's something that it does kind of annoy me sometimes in these difficulty ROM hacks. Because, like, you don't have access to air balloons and stuff. And even if you do, they're like, they're used up after you after you use them. So it's like when the AI gets like a shit ton of them. Like all the special items that are balanced by only being one use. So that you can never really make use of them. Use of them. But sometimes it does lead to interesting stuff like the Sceptile fight in uh, the fourth gym. Where it has the uh, the emergency, whatever the gets the thing is, where it raises its attack and special attack and proc sunburn. Like, that's a really neat um, challenge to deal with. Don't you dare flinch me. It's got like a 10% chance, man. I mean, we know you're going to Dark Pulse. This is maybe dumb. If he Thunderbolts, I am going to be out of my freaking mind mad. Okay. How did that do so much damage still? That's crazy. I mean, Mag Mortar does have like a lot of a special attack, I think. I've used a Mag Mortar. What play? I think that was also a Blaze Black playthrough where we used a a Magmortar. I'm a little worried about Mayor getting destroyed by Life Orb. Um. Okay, we're faster. I thought we would be, but I wasn't entirely sure. Oh yeah, you're not flying type. Um. I knew that. See ya. I don't know why. I guess because you have Levitate. And so in my mind, I'm like, oh, he's... Well, hey, he is literally up flying. But, you know, it is more interesting to have him be Dragon Dark than just Dragon Flying. Because there's enough of those. What did you say you were sending in? I wasn't paying attention. Flo's like a decent all-rounder. Oh, no, you didn't say what you were sending in. Last time we beat you with Reusion. Flow. Flow's pretty bad here. The problem is, is he may just Iron Head us right from the start and kill us. I'm gonna hope he goes for like some King Shield stuff, like by default. He did. You fool. You have fallen into my trap card. And we get a little bit of a healy heal. That didn't quite work. Oh no. That's that's bad. Maybe we can survive an iron head. I'm not super comp flash cannon. Nope, okay. I think we just lose. 
Oh god, I can never remember. Ghost. What are... Is flying good against you? This is... We gotta look this up. I got a compl... Or... A compliment. Well, compliment kind of. My awful memory? By looking this up... Ba Jin, what what move type effectiveness that's what we're looking for you're not immune you're resistant to flying because you're steel though but you're not immune to it okay um oh you, you don't have levitate dummy wait he's faster <laughs> he freaking automatized dude um You would like to King Shield. I'm so used to like ghost Pokemon just having Levitate that I kind of forget when they don't actually. Do we just lose again? What is this lady's team? Don't oh, know, bad. You're legally not allowed to flinch me with Dark Pulse. You're, you're not allowed. It's against the rules. How does that do so much damage? Like, that's with multi-scale. And it still does, like, quite a lot of damage considering how that Dragonite's pretty tanky and it's not... There's no stab. It's not super effective or nothing. Like, I mean, our Surf does less damage than his Dark Pulse. Kind of. It's like slightly more damage, but... How? How is all I ask you. Does it keep... Is it dark? It's like a 10... May, at most, it's a 20% chance. And honestly, I don't even think it's that high. Let's, while we're watching that, watching the animation. Dark Pulse. Move. It has... Okay, it's 20%. That makes me feel slightly better about it not being complete garbage. But on the other hand... Why has it got a 20% chance to flinch? I mean, come on. It's already 80 base power. That's pretty good. It doesn't need any extra sauce. Apparently. Um, get Earthquake. Get out of my face. I'm tired of seeing you. Um... Basically, well, you know, we, we ended up just uh, restarting after that other attempt where we cut the recording. Uh, the only thing that was different is I just Earthquaked and then x scissored And then he did switch into Hydrogeon and then I think I sacked Clo Because Clo isn't really doing anything here. And gosh, I forgot what you sent out. Uh, I wish I would like... No! I wish I would like tell you what... Actually, this is fine. Right? Because you're going to King Shield. And then we say, whatever, nerd. I'm not falling for that trap. I've used an Aegislash Slash before. I'm aware of your wily tricks. What? What? Man, that's fucked up. Um, dig. We're faster. Don't you dare, King Shield. All right. Whew. Now we lose to Mainetric, though. Fuck! I hate this fight, man. What? 
What, what am I? No, 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 no. We made this mistake last time. We kept Mayor in and he got intimidated. Well, you know what you can't intimidate? He's called the Dragonfly King? Or Emperor? Something like that? I don't know. Uh, get blasted? We, we're not, we're not phased. You do not scare us because we have the most all-powerful protect. And now our speed, because we established we're still slower, right? So I think, I think the correct play is to go for protect again, even though it's got like a 50 chance, 50-50 chance of failing. Because any of our other moves, we're going to get one shot and we're not going to get them off. Yeah. I've, speaking from personal experience, I know you can theoretically protect twice in a row. I've never been able to do it. Um, granted, I also almost never use Protect, but I've never gotten two Protect procs in a row. I know it's it's technically possible because the AI does it all the fucking time, um, but I've never had it happen to me. You're fuck you. What 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 do you want from me, game? Like, what, what, what do you want from me? I'm like, oh God, I'm so tilted. I just started recording. And I'm already tilted for the day. Okay, so instead of sacking Clo, I'm going to sack Jamu. Um, basically, the, what happened, you know, Carmilla actually crit on Earthquake. So instead of, like, switching into Hydrogeon, she sent out Toxicroak. Killed him with Mayor, and then Mayor, you turned out. And then I sit in Jamu instead of Clo, because Jamu has, like, a chance of maybe getting a Bug Buzz off. We did protect ones already. We are faster. Well, th this won't kill, though, will it? It did, wow. I'm slightly surprised. So that's really good, because that means Chloe is alive. So that gives us Tailwind. We can try and set up a Tailwind before fighting Mainetric, maybe? I don't really know how we're going to do it, though, because she said, because Age of Slash is before that. And Age of Slash is also kind of an all-hands-on-deck Pokemon. Um, we can't really mess around with them. We can... And I'm just worried about sitting in Carmilla because I don't want to... I want you to be at max HP. And we do have to pay attention to this weakness policy as well. I'm trying to think. How do we want to deal with that? Just don't flinch me. Just please, no more flinches. Thank you, sir. Yeah, okay, that's why we don't send out Carmilla's because the air balloon. I keep, I keep like remembering that and then immediately forgetting it. No. Okay. Okay, that's good. So now it's Age of Slash. How do you beat Age of Slash? Well, there's a couple options. I could just leave Ryujin in. We can we can try some. Well, this is kind of bad because of the that. Well, you're going to attack faster now, so we will at least get a full damage fly off. Because you're going to stance change. It's something. You can't tell me it's not something. 
And you're king shielding? Really? Okay. I mean, yeah, that's kind of dumb, but... If it makes you happy, go for it. I'm just saying, if we fight this main Etric with six of our Pokemon and still lose, the Let's Play might actually be over. <laughs> that, that might be it for me. It might be like, yep, we're just gonna retire, except that we've been bodied, and especially if we lose after this complete and total disrespect that she's given us, with this, like, I'm just gonna let you kill Aegislash. I mean, it's so BM. She's like, I, you, you can't even beat, you can't even beat me. I don't even need Aegislash, stupid little child. As long as I've got Mega Main Etric, nothing can stop me. Oh, dude, Ryujin, you're so close to being at multi-scale territory. Um, uh, I'm thinking. I mean, we could keep you in, but you don't really do anything. We could, like, Dragon's Hill for a tiny amount of chip damage, maybe? Well, you know what? Let's see how Carmilla handles it. I can't think of any move they could have that could one-shot her. I mean, he probably knows, like, Flamethrower or something like that, but that shouldn't be, like, that big of a deal. Thankfully, he can't have an air balloon. Oh, the Intimidate! I fell for the classic trap. And we should have definitely... You crit me, dude! I thought about digging, too, but I was like, I don't know. I think Earthquake might just one-shot, and it actually would have if it wasn't for the Intimidate, dude. Okay. Here, here's the play. You're gonna Flamethrower. Yeah? You will Flamethrower. We know this to be true. What can we do with this information? Basically, I want to get Chloe in there to live and maybe try and Tailwind. I just don't think we live through a Thunderbolt. What's your defense or special defense? 94 is pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, if Quetzal gets one shot, there's no, you don't have a chance in hell of living. I, just, I don't want to let you die, but I think we have to. You know what? Really, in hindsight, what we should have done, we lived. What? Um, so, in retrospect, that's a bad play. What we should have done, switch out to someone else, so that then when we know he's going to use Thunderbolt, you can switch back into Carmilla. And the, I don't know if Poison Heal would have procced, actually. When you switch in, it might would have. Because if so, that's like a really interesting strategy where we can kind of game the AI by like tricking them into using lightning moves and then sending in Carmilla to not take any damage and then also heal up from poison heal. What a brute. Look at poor Celosia. Now... I don't remember, but I'm assuming when we lose, we just fight you, right? Like, we don't have to fight both of them back-to-back -back if we lose. Because, I mean, I don't really remember this fight being complete and total hell. Which makes me believe that you're not going to destroy me. And everything I hold dear. I mean, I guess I should have seen that coming. In my mind, I was like, they're going to swagger. And then we can maybe just, like, not be swaggered. This is a bit of a risk, but I believe. Oh, wow, you really didn't swagger us? That's surprising. Wait, what? Oh, you've got a stupid, you've got a stupid thingy. You're a stupid thingy. You're a piece of garbage. Wait, you still didn't do any prankster stuff? 
That is... Truly odd. Luxray? How about... I'm gonna get kicked in the face, Ray? I can, I can never remember. Are you Dark-type in this game? Because in some ROM hacks, Luxray is Dark-type and some he's not because he is dark in this one. Haxorus? I think we just keep on kicking. Well, I'm a little worried. I feel like we're pushing our luck with high jump kick. Let's try acrobatics first, just for some guaranteed damage. And now we have to go for the high jump kick. Or else we get swept by this Haxorus. Oh no. Alright, this is... This is okay. This is... Yeah, because Jamu's still alive. For a second, I thought Jamu was dead. And then I'm like, oh no. We have lost. You'll still probably be faster than us. But you might also hit yourself and you're, you're confused now. No. Don't have a berry or anything. Okay, thank you. Um... I feel like the correct play... I mean... It's basically, it's a 50-50 shot either way. If he hits himself in his confusion, um, that's good for us. Then we win. If he doesn't hit himself in his confusion, we get killed before we get to attack. So then we could protect, but protect also has like a 50% chance of failing. I was just gonna bet on the confusion. We, we shouldn't have done that in hindsight. This is definitely what we call not good status. Please. Thank you. Hey, Basharp. What, what type of shenanigans could Basharp have? Is there any reason I shouldn't Focus Blast him? I can't think of what... you. I feel like you have a held item that counters fighting moves. Or something. I mean, there's already been a Focus uh, Sash carrier. You can't knock off my Rocky Helmet. That's so rude. Also, be gone. Chandler. I mean, I feel like Mayor's the best bet there. Fusion's also okay, but... Which really, we probably should have sent him Ryujin just because Mayor's kind of our... our ace in the hole, so to speak. In the sense that he's the only Pokemon that's fast. Even if he is a little inconsistent. Ooh. I kind of thought it would one-shot, but I was also a little worried. Pinsir. So the question here is, is Mayor faster than Mega Pinsir? I believe. You won't ever find me doubting our, our multi-colored avian friend. See, like, her team is, like, kind of balanced. The other lady's team is, like, fucking ridiculous. She's got a Hydrigion, an Aegislash, a Mega Pokemon that's actually good, and a Drapion. What else is... She's got... Okay, the, her only bad Pokemon is Toxicroak. And Toxicroak is only bad because we've got a full team of flying types. Um, Toxicroak is an okay Pokemon by himself. What's this? Who would have thought a child like you could beat both of us? You and your Pokemon were utterly in sync that battle, and I know why. You're here for answers, aren't you? I suppose we're at your mercy. I will tell you what I know, at least. We've been using the electricity we stole from the power plant to get everything prepared for activating the ultimate weapon. But it's not like that's all we'll need to use it. Are you following me? We'll need energy absorbed from Pokemon to power the device. Yes, it's the stones on Route 10 that will steal the energy for us and power the ultimate weapon. 
In reality, those stones that line Route 10 are the graves of Pokemon. When the horrible weapon was used to end that horrible war over 3,000 years ago, it stole the lives of all those Pokemon. Their lives were the price of peace then. And if we want to make our own wishes come true today, we and Team Flair also have sacrifice, have to sacrifice something precious. This is a kid's game, by the way. We're using the souls of the dead to annihilate every living thing on the planet. Um, it's honestly like maybe the only thing I really actually really like about X and Y is the, uh, the story is just so out there compared to all the other Pokemon games. I mean, 5th Gen, it goes a little hard, but... We haven't battled you, eh? And you've got a main... Oh my god! Well, uh... I was planning on... In you know, I'm just gonna end the video. Uh, spoiler alert, we lose. We're gonna lose this battle. Uh, I'm ExtraCheesy87. Stay tuned for the next part. And, bye guys.